Hello everyone. So for today, I figure we'll take these two. I coffee dyed these a long time ago. Envelopes and we'll make this cute little envelope here. And all I did was took it, folded it in half and did that. So I'm going to quickly glue this part with my glue stick. Take it. I've done that part. Now I don't really care that there's that piece there just because it isn't going to affect this at all. What we're doing. I'm going to hide that piece. And voila, we got a cute little coffee dyed piece. Very easy to make. Now, I am going to cut this part to make this part into a pocket. And we'll be, I'm going to use a tougher glue than my permanent scotch glue stick just because I don't trust it not to have issues we're just going to use this and you could sew don't get me wrong you could sew this on like that and everything I just personally don't feel like sewing I haven't been in the mood to sew actually for quite some time now. So, there we go. So that makes a cute little double pocket. Now, if you want to add a little something to it like this, you could easily add a piece there or even something like that. I'm just trying to see here if I have something that I would like on it. It ain't too big, but it ain't too small either. I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like any of them work good with this. I'd rather leave it plain at the moment, but if you're not like me, maybe you have some pieces like this that would look cute on there. I think this is another one of my little pieces that I made. Just seeing if any of them would look kind of cute for that. I really love this one and I always never find a good one for it. Not that one. That one's kind of cute. A little cluster. This one I could trim. Just wondering if I trim it, is it going to look nicer? Mm. It still looks cute, it just isn't what I want for this. You gotta love it when you make stuff and it's just not... that perfect size you want. Too big or too small or in between. Yeah. Wonder if I have any fabric clusters that I think might look good. I have my fabric clips in with my fabric cluster clusters at the moment. <clears throat> what about that? 
Ooh, perfect. That's one of the ones that I stitched, hand stitched up for the um one of the Roxy Creations challenges. Forget to ungoober. But yeah, this is just a Roxy's Creation Challenge piece. And I think that looks actually really nice with it. I kind of want something to go in this area too. Just thinking about something like that. No, that's too big. Ooh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, let's grab the glue book, though. Because I really like the grunginess. I kind of just want to save that grunginess of the... Um, coffee dyed with it, so I'm really trying to savor that. And not try to mess it up <laughs> which sometimes that happens sometimes it doesn't but there you go I really like this pocket now so we got that and that all right let's do one more and again I'm just gonna Glue this down this way. Okay. I don't really like this part, so I'm just gonna glue some old scrapbooking paper that I have sitting here onto it yeah I just switched glues I switched glues based off of the factor that my other glue was running out and it was easier for me to just grab some of that that was on hand and use it to stick it this on There we go. There, got that. And I'm just trying to think if we need anything else. Okay, there. And again, I'm just going to use my art glitter glue to make all this look better. That holds that down. This is not holding down the greatest, so there we go. Got that held down. We'll glue this nicely on. All right, and then we're going to glue this long line here and this short line right there onto it. And again, you could easily just sew around. I just don't feel like it. Yeah. 
I'll be honest. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to quickly cut across there. All right. Now I was thinking about adding some of this in here. So actually what I'm going to do is take some of that. And I'm just going to do a quick swipe over this just so it has that grunginess that this part has. And we're just going to glue that down. Again, it just adds just an added little look there, which I think is perfect. And I was thinking about, do I have any more? I swear I had some. I'm not finding it if I did. I made some pre-made tickets a while ago and I'm not finding them. So I guess I'll find something else. one I'm going to rip around it and it says hope dreams come true hope all your dreams come true and I just I like that stamp I don't know why but I like having that hope there. All right. Now, if I cut half this butterfly off. Like that. Glue it on like that. Okay. That'd be funny. Have one down here, one half of it down here. Let's hope your dreams come true. Eh, no, I don't like it. It was a fun idea, I just don't like it. Definitely not. I know this is a stamp, but I don't want it stamped. And most of these stamps, I do cut these out. <laughs> I'll full on admit it. The butterfly stamps that are newer like this, I do sometimes cut. Maybe to add to that blue look.
yeah, I like that idea that. Ooh, okay. That's how I'm going to do it. <laughs> I know it's like, why is she doing it that way? Oh no, she should have done the butterflies instead. I get that way too when watching videos. Sometimes I believe that the first way they had it was way nicer and way better, but it's your choice as an artist to make up your mind on how you want it when you're making something. You're supposed to do you. Do it your ideas, what you think looks good. It may not look good to somebody else. That's okay. A lot of artists right now are saying you do you. That's exactly what you need to do is you. Don't worry about how all the other artists think of you or what they think you should do. It gets frustrating doing that way. If you think that you got to do everything everybody else is doing too, everything's going to look the exact same. There will be no direction or places or anything else like that. So these are my little tutorial envelope pockets here and I did I think I got this idea from Gail Augustinelli but I'm gonna keep this for my idea area so I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day or night bye